Hey, welcome back. Here we go. Um, trying to obtain our four-star restaurant license. Um, and we'll see if we succeed in that endeavor. If you remember yesterday, we participated in the weekly challenge and made our way into the top 300 chefs in the world or something to that effect. Um, so we made it onto the leaderboard. Um, overall, I don't know where I am uh, in career mode on the leaderboard. Uh, so you could toggle between battle kitchen and career mode. Um, I don't see myself anywhere on here, but, you know. Oh, okay, your ranking. Right bumper. Well, I am not on the leaderboard. Not even among my friends. We'll just call that a bug. Unless this is... Yeah, I don't know. Oh, here I am, 227th place in the current weekly challenge. That's where we got yesterday. Um, let's check. Let's go back into career mode. Welcome back. Yesterday, we uh, achieved our 20th day of service and our fourth safety inspection. Uh, today, I'm going to attempt to pass Iron Cook Challenge number four. And we'll see if I manage to f finally pass that. Um, then, you know, we're going to have our four star restaurant. Although, it occurs to me now, um, perhaps rather than failing the challenge over and over, maybe I should go into practice mode here, wherever that was located. I know it is here somewhere. Uh, back to modes. There's like a tutorial mode. Um, you can view and buy foods and you can upgrade foods. I haven't done this in a while either. I could pick up another wine bottle. Um, I could upgrade my steak to three star out of five. Um, I could upgrade pizza. Actually, that's something I should be doing anyhow, because that encourages people to show up and to tip more. Uh, but to show up, uh, I was going to say, you know, use the triggers. Yeah, these people show up late at night for pizza. Um, oh, and catering. Didn't know about that. And yeah, this is a competition level food, and I've not been practicing it, and that's why I've been failing the Iron Chef challenges. Um... Oh, didn't know that this would attract VIPs. I see that on this it doesn't include plate spinner, which would be a detractor, meaning that it would require tons of plates to serve. Anyhow, this is something I should be, just as a four-star restaurant, I should be upgrading that. Um, and you know, what goes better with pizza than, than wine? Um... Liquor served in an office tower is generally frowned upon for some reason. But it does attract people on rainy days, and it's a staple food. People love it. Um, it's good for health. I mean, who doesn't enjoy a good glass? Um, it's pretty simple to make, and it has no impact on dishes. So, And people are willing to pay a ton for it, so why not? Oh. But my key point there is that you could upgrade your foods. Uh, I don't see pizza here anymore. Oh, it is here again. I could upgrade it yet again. Um, now where's the button that allows me to practice actually making a pizza? Perhaps that's under the buy foods. Um, yeah, here it is. Pizza. Practice. Here we go. Twelve bucks. Tomato sauce, cheese, olives. I don't know where that's located. Okay, I found it. And onions. Um, so then we press left bumper. And just let that burn. Tomato, cheese, pepperoni. Oh, that's not pepperoni. Bacon, 
and onions. Interesting. Yeah, I know he wants his pizza cooked. I don't care. I just care, can I actually produce the pizza? Meat lover's pizza is just the left column there. Tomato, cheese, pepperoni, sausage, bacon. Right. Italian pizza. Um, sausage. Mushrooms. Olives. And onions. Okay, so... The Italian pizza is the left column in this hidden menu, plus sausage. The meaty anchovy pizza. Tomato, cheese, pepperoni, sausage, bacon, and anchovies. So it's everything on the front page other than ham. Alright. That one's pretty easy. Tomato sauce, cheese, ham, and pineapple. Where's pineapple? Okay, it's over here. Just the cheese. <laughs> Alright, so... Um, hopefully, even if that doesn't really help me much, uh, at least works out some of the nerves. So let's go back and face the challenge. Uh, so the challenge is located under... Not there, not there. Extra events. Iron Cook Studio. So we're going to make American food. And we're eventually going to be successful at this endeavor because you can't fail it forever. One beer, two beer, red beer, blue beer, bacon, lettuce, tomato, one meat, olives, and onions. Meat and tomatoes only. Okay, so we made a couple pizzas successfully. Wave two. Oh, there's strike one. There's strike one. That's what I get for trying to peek over and see if anybody's written anything. Man, that music's intense. Hopefully there's not much of an echo. enough. So I got strike number two there. Bacon, lettuce, cheese, tomato. Uh, meat, lettuce, pickles. Meat and onions. Whatever, I have failed. Okay, so that challenge is pretty darn intense, is it not? Um, we could be here a while. I forgot that making burgers is part of the American experience. All right, we're gonna keep trying it, though. One beer, two beer. Bacon and cheese only, okay. Oops, well, we're going to fail this, um, probably. That's okay. 
It'd be good to get some practice with all of this, really. It's kind of cool how um, pouring the taps uses the thumbstick. Uh, on the controller. Tomato sauce, cheese, and anchovies. Okay. Mushrooms, olives, onions, just cheese, anchovies. Oh, fudge. Don't burn, pizza. Don't burn. Okay. So there's enough time to do all that. This wave four is where I got killed last time. Now you're supposed to be reading those recipe names as you go along. Bacon, cheese, and onion. Uh, bacon, cheese, tomato. Meat only. Hope you guys like your food burned. Meat, lettuce, pickles. Oh. This food doesn't burn. I still failed the challenge, though. Oh well. That was close. I keep thinking these things are going to burn much earlier than they actually end up actually burning. Um... We're gonna pass this challenge, damn it. Um, Anchovies, ham, and mushrooms. Pepperoni, sausage, bacon, and anchovies. All right. uh, pepperoni, bacon, and onions. Shoot. It's two strikes. Gonna go perfect on the rest of this. Bacon, lettuce, tomato. Oops. And that spells our failure again. Bummer. You know, learning to read might be helpful. Um, also, learning to pace these things would be useful. Because even within this tight schedule, there is some ability to prioritize what you're doing. Uh, bacon and onion. Olives and onion. See, well, you know, the key is to not start all the dishes at exactly the same time, because if you're cooking all the food all at once, you're not going to be able to prepare it all at the same pace that you're cooking it. So in some way, you kind of have to risk uh, having the customer walk away while you're preparing food. Um... Pepperoni, sausage, bacon, ham, just cheese, tomato sauce, and oh, I guess everything on it doesn't mean um, literally everything. Uh, 
Yeah, when they say tomato sauce and everything on it, they don't mean it. Well, they guess they do. Huh. Bacon and cheese only. Lettuce, tomato, pickle, onions. That's weird. Bacon and cheese. Okay, I think I paced this pretty well, actually. Meat and lettuce. Meat, tomatoes, and pickles. Okay, nice. Wave five. Oh, is that it? Is that wave five? Mushrooms, olives, and pineapple. Meat and onions only. Wow, that's weird. Who would order that? Amazing work. You passed the challenge and earned 1,200, as well as two mysterious golden tickets. But you know what this guy means, guys? Oh yeah! Fantastic work. We've remodeled your restaurant to a higher caliber, and some mysterious fellows appeared asking for you by name. They claim to be part of the Temple of Delicious, and they ask that you fly to their secret location immediately to prove your worth or something. Anyways, good luck. Alright, let's take a look. What do we got? Ooh! Alright, we're forced into the hungry festivities. Prepare for your greatest cooking challenge yet. You will not survive. Uh... Okay. Sure. Why not? Oh, it costs eight tickets to participate. Eh, we've got tickets to burn. Uh, select a challenge. Apparently I'm not able to select one. That's too bad. Um, so I guess we'll have to go back and you know, participate in that when it lets us participate, I guess. Oh, never mind. Pasta! Oh! Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Yeah, no, I have not ever prepared pasta. This is not gonna go well. Boil raw pasta. Twenty-five to go. Red veggie pasta coming right up. Red sauce and meatballs. Red sauce. Red pepper. Mushrooms. Um, spinach and onions. sauce, bacon, and red pepper. Okay. Cheese sauce, and onion. Cheese sauce, meatball, chicken, bacon. You gotta try to paste the cooking of all this. Um, I have the distinct feeling that I might not win this. Cheese, meatball, chicken, bacon, red pepper, mushrooms, spinach, and onion. Uh, red sauce, meatball, this stuff. Cheese sauce, chicken, bacon.
White sauce. Okay. Chicken. Bacon. Red pepper. Mushrooms. Spices. I have failed him. <laughs> oh well. Um... Oh wait, am I forced to... Is there no way out? Yeah. Um... The hungry festivities seem a bit challenging. You will not survive. Uh, they're quite correct in that assessment. Yeah, sadly I have failed the dude. We'll have to go back to him sometime. Um, totally overhauled. I got a new look as a four-star restaurant. Customers will be more patient. Look out for new opportunities. We got a new prep station because we've upgraded. We are a secret clan in a mysterious area of the Forbidden Jungle who have built the Temple of Delicious. A place for all aspiring world class cooks to prove their worth or be destroyed. Well, we don't actually destroy people anymore, but there is great, great shame in losing. Great shame. Only the absolute best cooks will be able to compete. And even then, only if your travels have been blessed with mysterious tickets. Specialty food upgrades. Nice. Chef Marinara. Okay, so let's take a look at what things we can upgrade. Uh, obviously sushi's up there. Oh man, that makes a mess. We can get offer customers a taste of the dodo, so to speak. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Um, there's pizza. Yeah, who doesn't like pizza? Ooh, and then there's the wine models. Deckard Vineyards. Let me give us a minute to read through this. Isn't that fancy? I mean, I could upgrade the baked potato, but it's not like I serve that anyhow. Because that's a total mess. Yeah. Okay, so. Let's go to the menu. And what's our daily special going to be, guys? Is it going to be fish? Or is it going to be chicken? I'm thinking chicken. Yeah, we're going to have some good four-star chicken on the menu. Just to encourage people to order the thing that's really easy to make. Here we go. Ooh, now that's fancy. Bacon and mushrooms. Man, it's awesome that people order beer first thing in the morning. Make sure to very quickly open this wine bottle. All right. Um, you know, because um, nothing says I'm going to serve you well like you ordering the cheapest wine on the menu. All right, it ate one of my inputs. Thankfully, I was able to recover from that.
Oh man, having that eighth prep station makes this a bit more intense. Wow. And as it loaded that sprite too, the game stalled. Mushrooms, olives, and onions. Okay, because I did that practice, I kind of knew where that was located. Two vanilla and nuts. Okay. I wish I had one of those auto-flushing toilets. to a restaurant just to order vanilla ice cream. Oops, I forgot there was a second ingredients menu. Hopefully you don't mind. They probably do. Cheese, anchovies. Uh, ham and mushrooms. Okay. Suppose you want your beer. Uh... Well, this is getting intense, guys. Uh... was too many. I hit the button one too many times and my customer is not going to be happy for it. It was too tender. If there can be such a thing as too tender chicken. Uh, co uh, coffee with one sugar. Okay, we can do that. One more customer? No, that's it. We are closed. Just have to wait for things to finish cooking and we can serve them. There we go. 2,500 bucks in one day. Right? Oh, I'm sorry. Today's income was 1074. I just had a lot in the bank from last week. 36% positive. 
buzz. So I suppose that means that more people are going to show up tomorrow. Purchase 15 foods or drinks on your menu. Definitely six. Oh, win the Iron Cook finale. That seems tricky. Complete a mysterious, mysterious tournament challenge. Um, yeah, we're on our way there, guys. We're on our way. I'm better at the computer. My skills are much improved on the improved on the computer. Please take this fund attached and invest in 4,000 shares of Compaq. Compaq are the future. Yeah, I got 500 bucks in my account. Awesome. Um, crazy Dave's bet. Yeah, I, I am not doing pasta. Yeah, that's nice and all. Totally not gonna happen. You like french fries? Well, I mean, who doesn't like french fries? Sure. Alright, so I'm not gonna serve french fries then. Just to be mean, be a total jerk about it, no french fries on the menu for you. I'm kidding, but... Um, but yeah, we can increase the price of every pizza. Um, let's see. Four new recipe cards and a surplus of diced tomatoes. Uh, or I could upgrade the burger. Why not take your list and... Ooh, we could have chicken patties. Chicken sandwiches. Nice. That's a... It says that's a three-star food? Hmm. I'm confused. Steak upgrade. Oh. Yeah, why am I not serving steak on my menu? Let's upgrade the steak. And... Put that on our menu somewhere. Here, let's take pizza off and put steak in its place. Um, any other changes? I mean, this looks fine. This has been working pretty well so far. Uh, it's too bad I still can't... There's no way to upgrade coffee. But coffee does bring in the customers, so you gotta be happy about that. So here we are. Day two in our lovely, lovely restaurant. Man, that guy knows what he wants. Seasoned, twice juicy, and twice bacony. I see, so we also have other spices. Once seasoned, twice juicy, one serving of citrus. Oh, I forgot. Uh, steak takes forever to cook, but now I've got eight stations. So that actually works to my advantage. Um, hopefully it does not burn quickly. Oh, it actually does burn pretty quickly. Here we go. I hope those Kickstarter fund whatever things do come up here. Um... Because I know as a three-star and a two-star restaurant, I did try to um, support those. Um, what was it? Sometimes the game gives you the opportunity to try to invest in new technology. Um, and I did try to support that to the greatest extent I was able to pay for it, but now that I'm a four-star restaurant, I probably have more funding for that sort of thing. Uh,
Phew. We made it. We made it, guys. Wait, am I gonna do... Am I gonna do a perfect day here? Or have I effed up sometime this morning? I feel like I've done a perfect day so far. And the game really rewards you for that sort of thing. Kind of ridiculously so. Two butter pecan with all the toppings. I just want to eat all day. Man, our customers say the smartest things. Seasoned, four spicy, too juicy. Steak is definitely making money for us. button. Seasoned with two kicks of spice. Butter pecan, cherry whipped in nuts. Okay, well, this is going great. Do you? Have the golden touch of cooking awesome. You're so amazing. Oh, did I forget to serve fries in the menu? Ha, I got to spite her. Um, even unintentionally. It's perhaps the best way to do it. Okay, one bad order, two average orders. Ah! Oh. If you didn't serve their preferred food during your date day. In which case, they won't show up at all. Yeah, I completely forgot about that. Ooh, here we go. Click and start. I keep... F yeah, I at least remember the start part of this name. Click and start. If there's one issue with restaurant refuse, it's the amount of waste that keeps clogging your trash bins by the time the day is over. The trash bot compactor will squeeze several 
into metal cubes for you to just simply toss and throw away. <laughs> yeah, I really want this item. Um, wait, that's kind of funny too. So if I funded the $500 level, there's not a good chance of successful funding. There's a good chance I get my money back. But I really want this to be successful, so I'm just going to fully fund it. Goal met. Awesome. Okay, and I think that's saying, yep, it's going to be raining. Um, so... 630 bucks doesn't do a whole ton. Oh, I forgot. I was going to go check out my menu. Um, yeah, you see like where it says pretzels and corn dogs? Apparently you can't serve those at four-star restaurants. People are tiring of the chicken, though. Um, I suppose I could put steak in its place. Steak's a reasonable substitute there. And... Do I put the fish back on? I think so. Yeah. That's fine. Alright. Let's get ready for the next day. Start new day. Two butter pecan. With all the toppings. Alright, you can do that. Once seasoned, twice juicy, one serving of citrus. Oh man, this is going to test my reading skills. I was going to say reading comprehension, but there really isn't much in the way of comprehension. It's just, can you read and can you match things up? Oh, you mean I have to actually cook it? I just can't serve it raw? Fine. Suppose I'll deal with that. Just the coffee. Now there's a guy who knows what he wants. One vanilla, one chocolate, and one mint chocolate chip. Okay, we can do that. Come on, pop. There we go. Here we go. Oh, Mr. Corrupted is here. Excellent. I've been meaning to ask about uh, the relay chest stuff. Um, would it be okay if uh, we chose to open source that? I'd let you pick the open source license of your choice. Um, for spicy. Not that it's even my position to choose, but I would like to open source it and contribute to it if that's okay. Uh, cook it. How about that?
once it's stable enough, you say. Okay. Uh, I suppose I'll delay contributing until we've hit that point. say once it, oh you wanted to put it on github once it's stable enough um, yeah I tend to put things on github even before they're completely stable um, I know that's not everybody's preference to do that because um, that can lead to um, overwhelming amounts of feedback Juicy, twice spicy, twice bacony. Okay. Two mint chocolate chips and nuts. Okay. Um, do you have a preference for, like, what license we do eventually use? Um, okay, feel free to do so. Okay, cool. Do you have a preference for a license? I was thinking maybe either GPL or MIT. Um, it's kind of leaning toward MIT on that, but... Sorry, I've been rambling a little bit here. My focus has been split between communicating um, and um, trying to serve these customers. Um, okay, so we had one bad order. Yeah, I completely missed a customer today. That was unfortunate. Uh, we got 33% positive buzz and half percent negative. Uh, I think people might be tiring of the things that are on my menu, which is maybe why I'm not seeing as many customers today. Um, got a silver ticket. Hooray! Yeah, it just reminds me I have to keep rotating my menu. So, oh, I was saying I should upgrade some of my foods here. Pizza is definitely up there in terms of things to be upgraded. I'm surprised that this doesn't include... Okay, so people don't order this generally during the day, but they'll come by at night to order it. So that's a reason to stick with it, even though it's not the biggest profit maker. Um, okay, let's put chicken back in and put pizza on the menu because we're an American restaurant in America okay cool yeah so I'll look forward to uh, doing some of that um,
Uh, I did... I, know, I remember a while ago we were asking um, whether or not I wanted to host the website. Like the static content. And I've started to experiment with that. I haven't really gotten very far. Um, other than figuring out that yes, it's possible for me to host it. Um, I really don't know whether... It's probably better that it's actually hosted outside of my... At least all the static content is hosted outside of my um, home network. That probably helps the site perform better. Uh, on the other hand, it does make um, publishing the new version of the site that bit much more challenging. Anyhow, uh, I guess what I'm trying to say... Well, I mean, I, I hear what you're saying. I'd rather pub it up as soon as possible, just so it gives us a way of um, communicating the changes to each other so we're not, like, emailing or FTPing or whatever it is, zipping it up with source code. It actually helps us... Um, um, communicate the changes and make sure we're uh, using version control, period. Uh, I guess maybe it's possible to use version control um, and not publish. Uh, I haven't really explored that option, but that might be possible too. Uh, but having version control does at least protect against um, you're trying to change some things, and I'm trying to change some things, uh, sort of situation. Uh, come on, don't eat my inputs, game. Uh, a bottle of serpent beard, right away. Everything but dried tomatoes. Oops. Shit! Literally. That was too much. That's what I get for my attention being split. It's funny. Uh, one mint chocolate chip. I mean, why do you play this game if you're not gonna make mistakes? Yeah, there's actually open source licenses other than GNU. If you look at uh, the chess server we play on, lichess.org, or frequently pronounced Lee Chess, but I spell it out spelling wise so you know where to find it, um, that's MIT licensed. Um, MIT's pretty awesome. Well, yeah, that was the deal, is that I wasn't... I didn't have much of a chance to look at the code before hosting it. Um, and so I wasn't entirely sure what direction I was going to go with some of that. Um, but it looks like the code itself is in a position where I could at least understand what the code does. Uh, and there's some relatively simple things that might be worth doing. Uh, I'm trying to remember what specifically. Okay, yeah, I'll let you know. I'll put it up. In fact, you probably know where my GitHub is, but yeah, I'll put it up today. I mean, if I wanted to make this extra interesting, I'd put up the code while cooking all the food for all the customers here. Just to give myself one more thing to multitask. But that would be a bit extreme now, wouldn't it?
Come back, dishes! Okay, there we go. Everything except diced tomatoes. Okay, I know where the X and Y buttons are, finally. No, I don't. I actually had to look down at my controller to find that one. Uh, pepperoni sausage. Come back, station number eight, coffee and creamer. One chocolate, one mint chocolate chip, one butter pecan, and all toppings except for nuts and chocolate sauce. This guy likes his food spiced and then tenderized. They don't. I don't know why not. Um, I guess because the spice doesn't distribute correctly or whatever, but there goes my perfect combo. Oh, never mind. He doesn't care. Cook server code delicious. Yeah. So. We're trying to work our way up to getting a five-star restaurant. Um, let's see. I've definitely done well on the food upgrading thing. And on the order or purchasing items for the menu thing. I've not passed any safety inspections, although you know I'm going to pass them. I've always passed them. It's not going to be a problem. Maybe it'll be a problem. Who knows? Um, getting a perfect combo. Five separate days. That's not really a challenge. Um, at least with my menu, it's not. Maybe if I had a more challenging menu, that'd be more fun. Hey! Funding effort successful. Mainly because I fully funded it. So this will make taking out the trash just that much easier. And yeah, click and start. Awesome reference there. Uh, it's great that the game gives you such upgrades and that it's not uh, in the same category as all the other upgrades it's just it, like here you can upgrade all these things and these are always available as upgrades uh, if I'm feeling crazy if I want to put pasta and soup on my menu then I order a stove I'm not that crazy just yet I'm sure I'll get there um, let's see Oh, to-go carry-out service. They love this service, and um, each to-go ready food will add 2.5% buzz for each on the active menu. So people will actually show up at my restaurant more to order things to go. Um, <laughs> you can actually pur purchase these silver tickets. Um, I currently have 21 of them, though, and I still haven't used them. Um, I forget. There's somewhere in here you could... Is this it? The random bet application. Get a 21x combo with this ridiculous crud on the menu. Potential winnings of 637 bucks. Um... Now, if you remember, if we were just looking at um, all the equipment that you could purchase, these silver tickets uh, cost 300 apiece. And now, it's saying you could potentially win 637 spending one of your tickets. Um, payout is 70 times 2 times foods, 5 times bonus, um, 2.10x combo. Hmm. Not sure how to read that. Uh, I guess that says take your greatest combo for the day. Um, 
Yeah, I, I don't fully understand that. Anyhow, I'm not putting soup on the menu, because it's just going to wreck me. Um, so we can look at our other things. Like, oh, here's past messages. Uh, here's our favorite messages. I've been forgetting to favorite things as we go along. Um, so, yeah, let's take on a new day. Ah, alcohol first thing in the morning. Good for you, sir. Just the coffee. You know, I should be able to serve Irish coffee. Just put the alcohol straight into the drink and serve it. I can serve beer. Why can't I serve Irish coffee? What's well, funny, um, I had actually purchased for personal use the source code of the game. So if I had some artwork for Irish coffee, I could maybe make it happen. It would take effort. It would take focus. And it probably wouldn't be worth doing, but I could. Oh. Um. Tomato sauce, anchovies, and mushrooms. That's a weird pizza right there. Anchovies, mushrooms, olives, and onions. Hey, I remember where the Y button was. somebody who frequently played Nintendo games, having the Y button in the wrong location is a bit confusing. Okay, that... That ate some number of my inputs. Um, I have no idea how many of my inputs that just ate. So we'll see just how well we do with that. Okay, apparently that was the wrong number of inputs. Um, But at least we're going to pass the health inspection. So who needs the perfect... Yeah, it's on the Humble Bundle uh, for the next day. Um, now, once you purchase it, uh, there's a couple caveats on it. One is that this was the developer's first real experience with Game Maker Studio. And they had originally done a mobile version, and then... Um, after that, they... I forgot. I'm sorry. No, they originally did it for PC, then ported it to mobile, added some features, then ported it back to PC for the newer game maker, um, adding more features. And then after having done all that, um, they ported it, or added some more features to add it to Steam. And I've got to say, the quality of this game is exceptional. The pace of the game is really slow, but the quality is pretty high. Um, and so... Um, I had a point. I swear I had a point. And then I saw that we have a guest here. No. Um, so, what was my point? Oh. It's that it was the developer's first effort, and he learned a lot along the way. Um, and the code is, I mean, all the assets and all the sprites and everything other than the music, which is licensed in a way such that you can't distribute the music with the source code. Um, uh, it's all there. 
And if you wanted to just design the game from scratch, that would probably be better than doing um, tomatoes. I've got tomatoes. How about that? Um, that would be probably a saner effort than trying to do something with the source code of the game as it stands right now. Um, You mean I can't put the sugar in before pouring the coffee? Okay, two butter pecan with all the toppings. Okay. Hey, Zug. Um, yeah, so I did have a chance to briefly chat here uh, with Mr. Corrupted, and um, so I'm going to be doing a little bit of coding. Um, Oh, well, okay, that didn't burn. Or at least I'm going to start doing some coding and figure out, like, what simple things I might be able to add. And since I'm contributing to the project, uh, to the Relay Chess Code project, um, I'm going to be at least working um, with source control. Uh, let's see. And the best way, or the easiest way for us to facilitate doing things under source control is we're actually going to be sharing the code in GitHub. Um, but hopefully that means that updates will get pushed to um, both the... Well, I don't know how we're going to choose to push updates, but we're both going to contribute to the same code base. And we're going to have a common way of looking at changes and such. Yeah, we passed that. A silver ticket, menu rots occurring, today's random bet. Um, huh, that might be doable. 48 times. Ooh, I don't know if I can do that. That actually looks tricky given all the stuff I've got in my menu. Um, anyway, so. Yeah, I should be doing some of that, and I'm trying to think of... Oh, yeah, one thing I'm wanting to add is spectating of games. Um, so I, I might start there and figure out how to do it. Ooh, we got a new pesto sauce. That's fancy. Do I want to do that? Do I want to upgrade my burgers? Yeah. This is the American experience. We should have the burger. Although, it costs the same to upgrade that as it costs to upgrade this. And money-wise, there's all kinds of benefits to doing pizza. So, pizza it is. There goes all the monies. All the monies. Yeah, I hear what you're saying, Kaz. Um... um PGN's actually a pretty difficult endeavor, even considering how far we've gotten. I would actually... Oh, I'm sorry. Before I get spectating, I'd like to get just a simple... Um, analysis would be the wrong word for it, but a simple one-player board. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be sharing the code on GitHub with Mr. Corrupted. Um, and, of course, that means other people are welcome to look at it and um, contribute, but understanding that um, not every contribution is going to be immediately necessarily accepted because this code isn't entirely stable yet. Um, right now, there's no, like, CLA, Contributor License Agreement, so 
I mean, people be free to contribute. It's just, um, I, I don't know what our standards for accepting code changes are because it's not my project officially. I mean, of course, given that it's open source and um, we'll do a good effort in documenting what it takes to run uh, the code, um, anybody that wanted to could actually download the code and run it themselves, too. So there wouldn't be any real barrier to using the code. It's just that we might not be able to accept every change to it. Um, but, no, I suspect you would probably be able to take things if people contribute. I just don't know. Uh... Honestly, one of the things that might be necessary to add it to Leech Us would be an understanding of closure, um, which I think compiles. So you know that Scala essentially reduces, hang on, what are we doing here? rat okay um, so I was about to get into this discussion about uh, here we go so you know that Scala essentially can compile or reduce to Java it runs on a JVM a Java virtual machine so it's a more restricted set of Java that can essentially that be changed into or run as Java bytecode I think Java, in turn, um, can be, or Scala, I don't know exactly how, but it cross-compiles to JavaScript. Um, and I think that uses the Google Closure library to produce all the JavaScript, such that the same server-side code that runs essentially as Java also runs in the browser as JavaScript. Uh, I could be completely way off, and other people probably know more than I do about that, since I don't do much for browser development. Um, but I think an understanding of closure might help with that, whether or not it's done in Scala. Um, I mean, even supposing that Leech Us doesn't accept the variant, there's nothing to stop us from deploying our own Leech Us that does support the variant. I'm not opposed to that idea. It's all open source. We're not doing anything contra uh, Leech Us, I don't know, um, their worldview, I guess. We're not doing anything illegal or immoral or unethical or anything like that. Um, so, hang on. So even if they refuse to accept the changes, which I think they probably accepted, but if they refused for whatever reason, um, that still wouldn't prevent us from going forward. <laughs> having it um, as a variant. Pesto sauce. Oh, there it is. Cheese pepperoni. Um, yeah, 
ham, tomatoes. Oh, I cheesed off a customer. Bummer. Pesto sauce, cheese, pepperoni, sausage, bacon, and ham. get a variant to major audience is have it on a legit leech us. Yeah, that's um it's probably true that if we were to deploy our own server just to try to popularize it, it probably wouldn't go too far. Um So yeah. Um uh, at this point, I think we've done well with this four star restaurant. Uh, Iron Cook is now filming. Menu rots occurring. VIP alert. Ooh. Where you will eat three of your meals, spanning four through seven. He requests that you have pizza, soup, pasta, and steak. Well, I don't. I can't prepare soup. It's not one of the things on my menu, so I'm declining that invitation. Um. So, that's all very interesting. Um, you note that that day we didn't have so much in the way of garbage because we finally got our trash compactor installed, so that was good. Um, so we'll take one more shot at the hungry festivities and then perhaps move on to something else. Prepare for your greatest cooking challenge yet. You will not survive. I'm going to give this one more shot, and then we'll switch into the whole relay chest thing. Uh. Man, this is intense. Red sauce, meatballs. Red sauce, red pepper. Mushroom, spinach, and onions. Okay. Do, 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 Cheese sauce and onion. Okay, onion is the blue button. failed. That was too bad. You know, someday I might pass the Hungry Festivities challenge. That music is so dramatic and so awesome. Um, but yeah. Oops. Hang on. 
Hang on. I was attempting to check this out. So here's how many foods we've served. Um, press Y. Here's statistics about just how much sugar we've been delivering, how much soda has been slurped, how much alcohol in gallons. Oh, okay, so it does provide that in liters. I was going to say... Well, no, actually, those big old drums where they store the alcohol, those are in gallons. Um, still, it's cool that it gives these in metric as well as in imperial units. I would prefer to see things in metric first, but what, what can you do? Exotic foods. Ooh, I still need to make some progress on that. Indeed I do. Um, but yeah. Overall, we're making good progress. Uh, we've already got our four-star restaurant. It looks beautiful. I like the curtains, the window, the lighting. It's all wonderful. Um, and so yeah, we'll come back to CSD. Uh, you know, I am American. At the same time, I realize just how bass backwards it is to do things in Imperial units, except for temperature. That was the one thing where they got it right. Everything else completely bonkers uh, to do things in Imperial units, but um, in today's day and age, I think one thing they could do to improve upon Fahrenheit is to measure temperature between uh, 0 and 10 instead of 0 and 100. And so if people want to know just how warm is it today, oh, it's a 6. Oh, it's an 8. It's a high 8. It's a low 8. It's like the one thing America got right with science. I kid a little bit, but at least in terms of units, um, metric makes a lot more sense in general. But yeah, Fahrenheit's pretty cool. Because we're talking in terms of what people care about, not in terms of what um, the average scientist cares about. So yeah, we made some good progress today. Um, got this lovely four-star restaurant. And I'll do some more cooking at a later time. With that, let's switch and do some of the real HS um, development or coding or testing or whatever we want to do at this point. Uh, so let's get that uh, underway. Uh, save and quit.